Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Look what I got. Oh my gosh. Now I have to tell you a little story here. Um, got an Amazon delivery as we do around this house a lot. Prime members y'all, order everything, okay? And the hubby was expecting something else for him. He said, well that's early. And then he realized the package was addressed to me, handed it to me and I'm like, I don't have an Amazon order right now what so I opened it up there's no note no name nothing in there now mind you this has been on my wish list or had been on my wish list it's off there now for almost a year I looked at the date that I put it on there and it was almost exactly a year ago so wow somebody got me this that's so cool and then I remembered that Joe Garden State Gardener if you've never checked out his channel he's a lot of fun he does uh, Sunday fun days and he does on Mondays he's changing the format of that but it, he was doing uh, like pierogi Mondays which is hot taste foods and stuff hot taste hot taste is mine he does like hot foods and stuff um, just an all-around really super nice guy he gardens like crazy and he works too much okay something I'm pretty familiar with and I'm a member of his channel uh, being a member I'm not monetized so I can't have members but you know different creators do different things for their members and for his members like every other month you get some kind of a member gift and he had told me in a live some at some point oh your member gift is scheduled to arrive whatever day this came in now I don't remember so that dinged in my head and I went oh maybe this is from Joe turns out it was Joe thank you so much I really appreciate this <laughs> because this is something that I have been wanting but then I won't go buy for myself because who knows why you know whatever but so many cute things in this book y'all so many cute things let's jump into the book because cute critters 26 easy amigurumi patterns and I have glanced through it and yes they do look pretty easy the cover just has such a nice feel yeah it's not papery it's like I don't know I can't really describe the texture look at this cute little baby and I think that's one of the harder ones um, in the book more, one of the more difficult ones and by more difficult they're all supposed to be pretty easy for a beginner and even if you are a super beginner there's an introduction welcome to the world of amigurumi with really nice photos in here too even just you know picture of yarn who doesn't love yarn right um, it tells you about getting your supplies together and what you will actually need it tells you about crochet hooks and crochet hook sizes and what she is doing hers in is Bernat Super Value, which is a, a four weight yarn. You can use any four weight yarn you like, but she's really trying to break it down. By the way, the author is Sarah Zimmerman, trying to break it down for the absolute total noob. And if you are a total noob to reading a pattern as well, this might be a good way to start. Um, tells you about the stuffing, about what you need to make the faces, other essentials, like you know how to weave in your ends as far as what you need to do that as well talks about abbreviations US terms versus UK terms so just all kinds of great stuff for the beginner and also stitches how to do some stitches now there are tons of stitch tutorials on the YouTubes I even have a few right find whoever your flavor is for stitch tutorials and follow them we all do things differently there's not really a wrong way you know to hold your hands or do things I don't hold my hands the way most crocheters do I do it a little differently we all do I have stitch tutorials Lisa Ladybird loves has some great stitch tutorials even crystal bag a day puts out stitch tutorials everybody does um, creative grandma does there are so many people out there with stitch tutorials just find the ones that work for you talks about single crochet half double and double and I think that's pretty much all you're going to use in here for the most part tells you how to make a magic ring I've got my not magic ring tutorial Let's see um, that's a nice short thing and easy to do increasing and decreasing really goes through the basics and then 
how to finish. How to put that puppy together, basically. I mean, it doesn't say that, but it's how to put that puppy together. Um, tells you how to stuff it, how to join the parts, how to close up pieces, how to add details. Really goes through step by step. Even how to stuff, like how to stuff those legs and stuff when you're making the, the puppy and stuff. But, yeah. And joining the parts, there's a section on that with pictures, with the needle going in different places. Tips about placement of appendages. I'm not kidding. That is a subheading right there appendages all right but it really does in how to weave in your ends um how to put those eyeballs on there and stuff like that yeah she really starts from the very beginner but i don't think you have to be like a super beginner to do something like this i have made some like little stuffies before one i followed a pattern for and that was for a cat toy i was proud of myself for following that pattern because i, I managed to actually do it um, but for the most part, I just kind of wing it. So there's that. Look at the picture of all those cuties. Okay. And then there's patterns A to Z. Um, and most of, oh my gosh. And the very, they all have names. They all have names. This is Alex the alligator. Isn't Alex adorable? And the size when finished, so this is done in four weight yarn. Okay. With an H crochet hook, which is. I believe a five millimeter. So nothing crazy small, nothing super teeny tiny. This is made to be a little easier. Now, if you wanted to make it super small and tight, you could probably use a smaller thing and a smaller hook and do that. But you know, for those of us who are new, let's start with this. But yeah, Alex the alligator is adorbs and there are several pages in there of patterns. It's not like, okay, do this part of Section 1, 73 times. No. No, it's broken down for you. Look at this. Benny the bear. Benny is adorable as well. And you can do these in any color combinations you want to. Look at the little face. Oh, Dorbs. Dorbs! This is the one that I want to do first, of course. Callie the cat. Look at that sweet kitty. In this one, it says, um, minimal embellishments make this one of the easier projects and the color possibilities are endless. And most of these are about 10 inches tall by eight inches wide. So maybe 18 centimeters tall-ish. I'm trying to just guesstimate the conversion there. So they're not huge. But yeah, the kitty is super cute. Dash the dog is adorable. Edward the elephant. You know, if you had a baby shower gift you had to give for somebody, if you know somebody who's having kids, instead of showing up with a blanket, you could show up with one of these. Or one of these and a blanket. I mean, if you're fast. I'm not, you know. Freddy the fox. I think the fox is so stinking adorable. I know I've got to make the fox too. Or maybe I have to make everything because look, look at the giraffe. And not the giraffe that we made for a cow. Those of you who did the cow will know what I mean. Ginger the giraffe. And this one is actually 14 inches tall. A little bit taller than the others. I think it's those cute little knobbly boobies at the top there. Oh, don't want to make sure I miss one. Henrietta the Hippo. And Henrietta is purple in this version, and she's adorable. Iggy the Iguana. How cute is that? Let's see, what else have we got here? Oh, yes, Junior the Jellyfish. See, most jellyfish that I've ever seen in my life don't smile, they sting. But, you know. Katie the kangaroo. Adorbs! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Lily the lamb. And you can see where a lot of the pieces are very similar. So once you've done one or two, 
you can really, you know, get into it and be able to do them quickly because it's a difference in positioning and differences in the faces like this. Max the monkey. Oh, Max has such a cute face. Nina the nightingale. Hmm. Come on, show me the page. Oh, Oswald the owl. Super cute. Penelope the penguin. Think about making these for donations. A lot of times they could use, you know, small stuffies and squeezable things for little kids. Look at that. Isn't she cute? That's Quinn the queen bee. Quinn looks happy there. Rosie the Rabbit. That is so sweet. My cat is unimpressed. He's like, you have a squishy right here. Mm -hmm. Sammy the Snail. It's a snail you wouldn't mind having around your garden. Doesn't eat anything, or doesn't eat much anyway. Tina the Turtle. I think this turtle is stinking adorable. So simple and just, you know, not a lot of details in it, but it's just cute in the way it's put together. And this is what was out of that other page. Uniqua the unicorn. Look at your unicorn. I think there's a better picture of that face too. No, that's the same angle. Blast it. Victor the Viper. Schnick. Walter the whale. When I saw that the whale was named Walter, I had to just, you know, give a little little bit of nostalgia. Um, <clears throat> my grandfather, who passed on, oh gosh, 25, 28 years ago now, he had heart problems his whole life. He was one of the first people that Dr. DeBakey did open heart surgery on, so that was a long time ago. And, um, he always was involved in church and stuff, and he loved summer church, what was it called? Vacation Bible School, that's what it is. I was already older by this time, but the year that he passed away, right around Vacation Bible School time, he was, they made a big whale, you know, everybody had gotten together to do this thing for the kids, and he was gonna be Jonah coming out of the whale, and his name was Walter. Not the whale, my grandfather. So, yeah, that, that sent me a little bit of nostalgia there. Yeah, the hubby never got to meet my grandfather. He passed before we met, so. Here's Xavier the X-ray fish. That's super cute. I could see that going some, like, darker way with some creepy stuff for Halloween. Because that's how I work. Yolanda the yak. Oh my gosh, that is adorable with the little tuft of hair up there. <clears throat> Xena the zebra. Changing color that many times looks to me like a pain in the bootay. But, oh, and it says carry, just look at the top, talk because I was thinking about that. You can carry your yarn on the inside of the project as you go. No need to clip off and reattach for each round. That just made it ten times easier. So that's the last one. Plus, there's an index full of just not not just the projects, but also just different terms. Um, I think it's a nicely put together book. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. I've got to take some time to sit down and do this along with every other stinking project that I have going on and that I want to do. Yeah, still looking for more hours in a day. Maybe I need to try that watch thing that Crystal does. You know, more watches gives you more time work as well as anything else right anyway thank you for coming by for this book look I haven't done a book look in a while I have a ton of books that I want to do for it but I just got this in and I got super excited so I had to share it like right now right now so cute thanks again Joe and uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day 
look for this on Amazon or at bookstores near you, I guess. I don't know. But cute. And a bunch of people have this now. I think we should do like some kind of a crochet along. But I'm not going to start it because ain't got no time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Really. Really don't. Thank you, though. See y'all very soon.